If an innocent human being was murdered right before your eyes, do you think you would ever forget it? What if you had seen it 3,000 times? It's a horrifying notion, but it's one that we lived through eight years ago today. On September 11, 2001, 3,000 Americans lost their lives for no other reason than that they called the United States their home. From lower Manhattan to a barren field in Pennsylvania to our nation's capital, places of peace were turned into mass graves. And the freedom that we cherish was used as a weapon against us. Yet despite all that suffering, despite all the mothers and fathers, husbands and wives, and sons and daughters who left home that day never to return, it seems as if we're beginning to forget. This week, you may have found yourself thinking about domestic issues like health care reform or the state of the economy. Closer to home, you may have been preoccupied with the holiday weekend or getting kids ready to return to school. But did you give a moment's thought to the lessons we learned eight years ago today? On that day, we learned what America's enemies look like at their worst. We heard it in the voices of grieving family members. We felt it in the panic that accompanied the sound of planes overhead. And we saw it in the hopeless moment when national television showed a second jet careening toward the walls of the World Trade Center. But we also learned what Americans look like at their best. We saw rescue workers charge into flames from which they would never return. We saw a Secretary of Defense put his life in danger to help those under attack at the Pentagon. And we saw a group of brave Americans sacrifice their lives to ensure that a second plane would never reach Washington. Eight years ago, Americans rallied together under the motto, never forget. But today, the former site of the World Trade Center is still a hole in the middle of New York City. The Pennsylvania field where United 93 went down is largely forgotten. And Americans are increasingly supporting retreat from the war that started that day for no other reason than because they're tired of it. These are not the actions of a people who remember, but though it is painful, we must remember, because in that pain, we'll find the beauty of a great nation. We'll find that where our enemies sowed fear, we reaped courage. We'll find that where our enemies hid their identities, our men and women stood proud and unafraid in the uniform of the United States military. And we'll find that where our enemies represented the dying gasps of hatred, we remain the last best hope of mankind. That's this week's Freedom Minute.